Let's talk about how to create a new post in WordPress. There's a couple different ways you can do it. I've talked about using the quick press, but I'm going to talk about the main ways to do a new post. And you can go over here to posts and click on that and then click on add new. Or what I usually do is just navigate up here to this button here from the dashboard that says new post and just click on that and it will open up the WordPress posting window and that is what we want and it says add new post so from this screen this is where we would actually do our new post so let's put in first our title and this is going to be the title of your post and since it's a title it's usually best to capitalize the first letter of each word there now this is the area right here that you will put your post text. Now I want to show you something. I want, to, I want to show you this button right here. If we hover the mouse over the button it says show or hide the kitchen sink. Watch what happens when I click that button. It actually opens a second row of buttons with a lot more options. So once you click it once you don't have to keep clicking it every time you go to do a new post these will all show up. So again, if you only have a few options like this, make sure you click that button. It shows you a lot more options. I'm just going to type in some text. And this is where we type in our text for our posts. Now, the nice thing is it's got some nice formatting options. So for example, if we wanted to bold this, we would just highlight our text and hit the B for bold. We could use italics we could strike through here's a button for bullets um, if we want to actually move down we could do actually a bulleted or numbered list so we could do that there's quotes and we can also align things so if we wanted to align this first part in the center we would highlight it and align center so a lot of these um, text and formatting type settings are very very similar to like Microsoft Word and different things like that. This is how you can insert and edit links and we'll cover that later on in the video but there's a button for that and you can unlink and you can insert more you can do different languages if you wanted to you can toggle full screen mode if you want a bigger screen and then here is a nice area right here where you can actually choose the format of the text so for example this first part here is currently set to paragraph if we want to actually change to make larger text we could change that to heading one and so you can change the size of your text by changing the format there's a paragraph format a heading one two three four and so on and again you have to select the text you want to change and then change that format and it'll change the format of your text we can underline all kinds of things and we have text color here so if we want to color some of our text we could select that particular text and then just choose a color for red for example and it will color that text now it also has some buttons if you have typed in some information or a blog post as plain text or even from Microsoft Word you can paste it in so if you have typed in a blog post in Word you click this button and paste your information in for, from Word and click insert and it will format it for you you could also remove formatting and then you could also embed media which I'll show you how to do later on in this course so again, this is the main area where you're going to put all your content, and these are your buttons for formatting that content. Now there's also a visual and HTML tab. 99% of the time, you're going to just leave it on visual. But if you do actually know HTML, or you need to use that tab for some reason, you can click on that, and it is the HTML. But don't get scared. You can, you know, like I said, 99% of the time, just use the visual tab categories is where you can choose categories for each of your blog posts we'll be talking about that same thing with tags and it's got a few other options down here you can allow comments and things like that 
But that's really all there is to it. Once you've put in your information, you can either save a draft, you can preview it, or you can publish. I'm going to go ahead and just click on Publish. And we have just made our first post in our blog. So if I reload our blog page, here it is. There's our new post. There's our red text, some of our formatting, and it shows up at the top of our blog. So that's the basics on posting. Again, you can get there by clicking on Add New or just going up to this button for New Post, and it takes you to the posting screen.